Inside of Simpler, we'll encounter four envelopes. Envelopes allow us to control how a specific or a set of parameters within our synthesizer evolve over time in relationship to our MIDI event, or when I begin the playback of the sample and when I request the stop of the playback of the sample. The first envelope that we'll look at is the amplitude envelope. The amplitude envelope's parameters will change dependent upon which playback mode I have selected, whether it be classic, one-shot, or slice. When in the classic mode, we get an ADSR envelope, an attack, decay, sustain, and release envelope to control or specify how the volume of our sound evolves over time. When I press, uh, when I trigger the note to begin playing back, or when I trigger the sample to begin playing back, we go through the attack period, which is how long does it take for the amplitude of our sample to go from the minimum possible value to the maximum possible value. In a few minutes, we'll look at how we can scale that using velocity, but for now, let's assume that it's minimum to maximum. After we finish the attack period, we enter the decay period, which is how long does it take to settle from that maximum possible amplitude or value for this envelope down to our sustaining value. Now, that sustaining value is usually specified in decibels, but sometimes we'll see it as a percentage or some other scale of values. Um, but in the case of this envelope, it specifies what is the amplitude or the volume of the sample as I continue to hold that MIDI note. Then the final stage of the envelope is when I lift or release that MIDI note, we enter the release period, which is how long does it take to go from our sustaining amplitude down or returning to the minimum possible amplitude or complete silence. So we specify that using these four dials, which are located in the bottom right hand corner. And inside of Simpler, always in this bottom right hand corner, we'll find whatever amplitude envelope controls we have given the current selected playback mode. When we're in the classic mode, we can jump over to the controls tab and into the amplitude section here to see a graphical representation of our ADSR envelope. And in fact, we can even manipulate that envelope using the display up top here, grabbing these little yellow squares, and we can adjust the attack, decay, sustain, and release of our envelope and see it represented graphically there. Now, we had talked about how velocity, or how hard or how soft I trigger a MIDI note to occur, how we can use that to scale the amplitude of, our, of the playback of our sample. So if we look here just beneath the amplitude envelope, we see this VEL to VOL, which stands for Velocity to Volume, and by default it's set to 35%. So it's just got some influence on the overall um, impact of this envelope. If I set it to 100% by clicking and dragging up on it, now this envelope is always going to be controlled by the velocity with which I trigger the playback of the sample. So a softer or lighter velocity will indicate or uh, produce a amplitude envelope which only ramps up a little ways, giving me a very quiet playback or quiet scaling of this envelope. If I trigger it as hard as possible, we'll get the complete maximum influence or maximum volume out of our amplitude envelope. And anytime you see anywhere inside of a synthesizer this VEL to or velocity to anything, that's just allowing us to scale that parameter by the incoming velocity. And there's a variety of other MIDI inputs that we can use to apply that to a specific parameter or control within a synthesizer. So that's in the classic mode. That's the most robust envelope that we've got for controlling amplitude inside of Simpler. If I switch back to the sample tab, go over and slip, switch to the one shot, and we look in that bottom right hand corner, we'll see we've got a completely new set of controls down there. And specifically the first two, starting with fade in and fade out, are the only amplitude envelope controls that I have in the one shot. And actually the same is true for the slice mode but I only have fade in, which is once I trigger the note, how long does it take for the sample to fade in? And once I release the note, how long does it take for the sample to fade out? So very simple controls. And if we switch to the slice mode, we'll see the same exact thing, fade in, fade out. Now, if I jump to the control tab, while we'll still see amplitude listed here, there is no graphical representation of the fade in, fade out controls. To control how much the velocity influences our basic fade in, fade out envelope, we can adjust this dial down here again in percentages.